Welcome to the first Stamp Olympics. This year, the buzz is all about two teams, longtime rivals who are facing off for the first time in history. Team Blockhead is a little bulky, but those rubber stamps look tough, Melanie. Do you really think the other team is up to the challenge? Well, Jim, Close to My Heart's Team Acrylic are made from the highest quality polymer, and they've taken everyone by surprise. And take a look at their sleek packaging and handy carrier sheet. Now let's see what these teams can do. Our first stamp Olympic event is called On Target. That's right, Jim, and the team whose stamp centers on the mark best wins. Team Acrylic looks prepared for the task, especially with that clear block mounting. That should certainly help with lining things up perfectly. Here's the approach. Team Acrylic makes a great first impression on this on-target event. Here's Team Blockhead's representative lining up for the event. The approach is a bit hesitant. It's hard to aim with that wood block in the way. Oh, almost but not quite. Looks like Team Acrylics takes the event. Let's take a look at the relay event already underway. The challenge here, Melanie, is to stamp a background as quickly as possible. The relay teams look pretty evenly matched. Here's Team Blockhead starting with the first images. Team Blockhead is finally finished up. Let's see how Team Acrylic measures up to their time. Wait a minute. All five images have been grouped together on the same clear block. Is that allowed? Of course it is, Jim. Remember the Stamp Olympics motto, faster, simpler, easier? I'd say gathering five images on a block at once will definitely make this competition faster, simpler, and easier. You're right, Melanie. Look at that. All five images have been stamped in a fraction of the blockhead team's time. Let's review the water competition from earlier this morning. We should warn you, though. The following footage contains images that might be disturbing to some stampers. Viewer discretion is advised. Here we have Team Acrylics entering the pool. It looks like the stamp has separated from the clear mounting block. Yes, Jim, but take a look at this. A quick dry on the double scrubber and the acrylic image adhered as good as new. That acrylic stamp really retains its stickiness. Hopefully the blockhead team fared better in the water event. I'm afraid not, Jim. Mm. Looks like the image separated from the block as well. And the quick dry and reposition on the block doesn't seem to have worked. Oh, this is not a pretty sight, folks. Not pretty at all. Looks like Team Blockhead has lost one stamp to injury. If only they were as durable as their polymer competitors. Let's take a look at the most crowd-pleasing event of the day, the obstacle course. Let's take a look at Team Blockhead's attempt to maneuver the obstacle course. I can't look. The anticipation. Oh dear. Team Blockhead managed to get from start to finish, but not without encountering the stamp-eating shark, pointy sword, and brass tacks. Here's the competitor for Team Acrylics. This straight line can't possibly do better, can it? Jim, I'm afraid you may be... Wait! Look at this! That straight line has curved itself to avoid the obstacles. Look at this! Team Acrylics stretched and arched around each of the dangers. Well, Melanie, it looks like Team Acrylics has swept this year's Stamp Olympics. Not surprising, Jim. Those acrylic stamps make a fantastic team. Well, folks, until next time, remember the Stamp Olympics motto. Faster, Faster simpler, simpler, easier. easier.